Hey y'all, just gonna make a quick little video because I have not been able to find anything about this anywhere. You know, one forum post and uh, no YouTube videos about this specific thing, but I have got a 2500 HD. It's a 2005 extended cab long bed and it has the two piece drive shaft. So I replaced the carrier bearing, press on, press off, plenty of videos about that. However, when I went to go and put it back together, this seal right here just completely disintegrated. It's a part of it right there. So I got the new one. It's rubber. And the old, this is not rubber. This is metal. <laughs> so, um, as far as I can tell, I need to get this off and then get this on and I'll be fine. But, for anybody wondering, <laughs> I'm going to go through this right now and try to get this off. Got some movement on it, so that's good. It spins. Oh, but I can't, it's not going forward. Alright. A little bit of screwdriver on the lip there. A little bit of hammering from the screwdriver. You got it right off. Definitely metal. This is definitely not metal. So that's a little frustrating, but scar up too bad doesn't look like it beautiful i should have expected it but getting this seal back on here has not been as easy as i thought it'd be been banging at it with a mallet i can't quite get it on i think it's a matter of getting this lip there on the top over this lip so we're gonna keep playing with it all right so i'm pretty lazy and i tend to try to get the right tool for the job which ends up usually costing me a bunch of money, but I went over to O'Reilly's and rented this. So we're gonna see if we can't use this bearing and race seal driver kit to bang on this, uh, this hoot nanny. See how we do. All right, so a little bit of seal, a little bit of, is this five pound hammer? And uh, a little bit of banging, and she is on there, so. Let's put some grease in his bitch and see if we can put it back together. All right, so a little bit of grease and a lot of trying to get this lined up. This is definitely a two-person job. Thanks, babe. But finally got the key actually in the key and was able to line it up and get it pushed in. Whew. All right, so. We finished everything up to sum things up we replaced the carrier bearing we then replaced that seal the seal that i had the question about and couldn't find any answers for so uh got that done we then uh joined the two drive shafts back together that was a pain but my girlfriend helped me out and uh, once i got the key actually properly aligned it was beautiful once those two things are together just slide the uh, drive shaft back into the trans you know um install the carrier bearing bolts and then get the bolts back on for the rear diff and she's all done so uh lots of videos about carrier bearings and u joints and all that but if you're wondering about this particular seal for a two-piece drive shaft for a two-wheel drive truck then there you go that's what i had to go through <laughs>